Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today are the other trials for Donald Trump. Are those going to come to the fore um, and make a difference in his uh, political career? That's the best we can ask because it looks like uh, realistically they're not going to happen before the election. But anyway, and then also I'll tell you uh, my dream team candidates for the next election. Uh, so I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Anyway, that's what the video will be about. So, yeah, all the other, um, all the other trouble that he's in, is that going to make a difference? Is that going to have something, have an effect on him? And uh, is he going to be president while that's happening? And then I'm going to tell you my three uh, dream candidates for another election. Not the one coming up, but maybe another election. So, uh, all these other court cases, what is this going to be due to the Donald? But before we do any of that, let's have just a moment of meditation, of course. So, all the other court cases, what is that going to do to Donald? All the other court cases. Remember, if you like these cards, I talk about them at the end of the video, and they're very cool cards. It's the same artist that does the cards that uh, Violetta uses, and she's made this deck, and I think another couple. You can probably Google Cat Black, K-A-T Black, from Australia and her tarot cards. But let's talk about Donald Trump. So all the other court cases. Let's just get warmed up with three cards to see if we can get in the mood of... Uh, this law situation with Donald Trump. Three cards to kind of get us off on the right foot about the legal uh, situation Donald Trump is in. The Fool. <laughs> the Fool card. That's very interesting. Well, The Fool is a new journey. And those, all, those are all going to be new journeys. Um, and then uh, the Ace of Coins is uh, a great big offer of value. So there's value here. Does that mean there's value in these suits or there, there's value in Trump? And then the final one is the Page of Cups. No. Uh, He's reduced to the very least important of the royal court, the page, and it's emotion, and there's a surprise in that emotion. You can see the fish inside that cup right there, and this page does not look uh, confident whatsoever. So you know, all the other court cases, this is setting us on the path to those. They're all new journeys. It's about value, and he doesn't have much emotional value left. So let's see. Uh, I don't know the names of them individually. Off the top of my head, do I? So we've got the... This is the Alvin Bragg case, I guess. So the one in Florida, we've talked about a lot. What about the Letitia James and um, any remaining cases? Let's do six cards for Trump and his legal woes. Three, four, five, and it's very possible you may hear some construction going on because I've got stuff happening at my place and, um, and we just have to put up with it. If you can hear it, but I don't think, maybe you won't, but if you do, that's what's going on. Same very card for legal woes uh, after what's going on right now. Page of Wands. So there's a small plan uh, uh, ready to launch into for this situation, but it's challenged by the, the king's big plans of becoming, uh, you know, the, the whatever they are. This is after the election. So it could be that he is the president and it's a, a conflicting with his big plans or whatever he tries to do after the election if he doesn't become president. And the basis of the whole thing is the Ace of Wands, so it's all about planning here. And the Ace is a great big offer of a way forward. It's the base of this, that's what he's looking for. And in the past of this is strength. So the strength has gone. It's over and in the sky of this is the Two of Cups looking for some way to make a deal. Looking for someone to get in bed with legally. Some way to make this work out. And the Seven of Coins is wondering if you've done enough. It's all about value. It's about nurturing something, hoping you can bring something to life. And um, it's usually a positive card, actually. 
So the legal troubles that he's going to have will still be there. It's a big plan. He's going to be weak. He's got to try and find some kind of a compromise to make a, a partner with. And um, he will always be worried that he hadn't done enough. I want to know, uh, is he going to do any jail time, any incarceration? One, two, I've probably asked this a few times. Is Trump going to do any incarceration whatsoever? Any incarceration ever in his life? Is he going to do any? Three cards. One, two, three. Three cards for incarceration. First card, no, it's a Wheel of Fortune. It's possible. Second card is the when the secrets get revealed, the Moon card. And the third card is the Nine of Cups, really the greedy merchant trying to show all his emotional wares. I think um, it could happen. He could, uh, but he's going to be protected by his, his this status right here with this Nine of Cups. He's going to be protected somehow. So my dream candidates for president in another time. I would like to see Pete Buttigieg run as president. I would like to see um, uh, AOC, um, Cor uh, oh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez as VP. And I would like to see Kamala Harris as a Supreme Court Justice. That's what I'd like to see happen politically in the future. So for that, those three, is there any hope of that dream team coming to pass? Three cards. Two, three. Je Buttigieg, Cortez, and Harris. Buttigieg. Okay, it, it's in the play. Cortez. Depends on the, the path she decides to take. And Harris, the high priestess, it very looks like that could very much be in her future. So, yeah, it's a, it's a decision-making process for these two, which means it's not negative, okay? And uh, Harris, that would be a good uh, placement for her. So, that's what I got, and I hope you like that video. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so these are, again, some amazing cards. The Touchstone Tarot by Cat Black, who's an Australian artist. She lives in on the western, uh, southwestern, I think, part of Australia. But the box is so great, you really feel like you got something worthwhile in that. The instruction booklet is, um, is very good, as a matter of fact. It's not in color, but it's got some really good uh, ideas for divination. Tells you a little bit about the artist, so that's handy. And then the cards, I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even just the back is gilding. You can feel that gilding right there. But the front, these cards are not hard to decipher, but they really focus in on the face. Of You'll notice all of these are, you know, from the bust up, from the waist almost up. So they really make you identify with the face when you're trying to make the interpretation. Cat Black is amazing. Um, I don't know how... Uh, she came up with this, but she came up with some beautiful, beautiful artwork. And all digital. So there's not a painting somewhere that looks like this. Of course, these are made from actual uh, paintings. And, you know, I, I do this so that everybody can look at these cards and maybe you don't get to see uh, kind of different kind of cards. And, um, and this gives you that opportunity. I always wanted to see what the tarot readers were using, what the cards looked like when I was uh, only just uh, being a viewer.